When you say AK-47, this is what most people imagine. However, this is what my first AK-47 looked like. But this is what Midwest Industries wants your AK-47 to look like. I love the AK platform, but I'm a pimp my rifle kind of guy. I like adding all of the lights, lasers, and other tactical accoutrement that scream, I'm a poser. Before you finish watching this video, a word from our sponsor. Have you ever thought about making a living in the firearms industry? If you enjoy gun repair, ballistics, and learning about firearms, Sonoran Desert Institute's online courses might just be a good fit for you. To find out more, visit sdi.edu or call 480-999-4767 today. All the ammo used in this video was brought to you by Nosler. But the AK hasn't always been the most conducive to my tactical pimp daddy aspirations because there weren't very many ways to add accessories to AKs without making them look a little wonky. So when Midwest Industries sent me a Palmetto State AK-47 adorned with parts from their new Alpha series line, let's just say I was a little giggity. The first thing I noticed was the stock. If there's anything on this planet I can't stand, it's AR-15 style stocks on AKs. It kind of makes me want to throw up in my mouth. However, this Alpha Series folding stock is borderline perfect for an AK. It actually looks like it belongs on the AK instead of some weird outgrowth that made the rifle look like it spent the last 10 years standing too close to the microwave when it was on. The stock attaches by way of a 1913 rail and is foldable, thus minimizing the rifle's footprint while in a vehicle or in compact spaces. The stock can also be adjusted for length of pull with five different positions. You can also adjust the cheek weld height as well. Unfortunately, I lost one of the screws, so I can't raise it without having some slop. That said, the cheek piece is made of polymer, which I prefer to fill on my face versus metal. There's also three QD sling attachments as well. Then there's the rail top cover. I had an Ultimac rail on my first AK and I like it, but I like my optics to sit closer to my eye versus further away. So the Alpha Series rail top cover is a welcome addition. I'm running a Leupold Mark III HD 1 to 4 and I didn't notice a shift in zero. And I'm not really surprised considering how solid the lockup is between the top rail cover and the handguard. But my favorite part from the Alpha Series is the M-Lock handguard. There are M-Lock sections all over this handguard. It's like there's more M-Lock than there is actual rail. And by no stretch of the imagination is that a bad thing. Having all of these M-Lock sections gives me the ability to put just about any accessory I want on this rifle. Right now, I just have a Surefire Scout Light and pressure pad with an Aeronox foregrip. But if I wanted to add a night vision laser, I could do that along with the light and still have rail space to grip the rifle. Granted, this is the 10 inch version of the handguard. It also comes in a six inch version. The handguard also incorporates a heat shield that kind of sort of worked. It definitely stayed cooler longer than the Ultimac rail on my first AK, but add the Texas heat to the heat of the barrel and the gas tube, and yeah, at some point, you're still gonna wanna put on some gloves. Shit, it's hot. That said, none of these pieces adds considerable weight to the rifle, but the thing that stuck out most to me was how tight everything felt. AKs aren't exactly precise when it comes to fitment, but Midwest Industries somehow managed to make all of these pieces fit like they were originally part of the rifle. The beautiful thing is all of these parts are drop-in parts. There's no gunsmithing required. Now, as far as price, the handguards come in between $159 to $169. The rail top cover comes in between $244 to $254. And the stock comes in between $270 to $289. I used to be a quasi purist when it came to AKs. I wanted my AKs to look like AKs, not AKs that kind of sorta of wanted to look like AR-15s. But I'd also get annoyed at the functional limitations of a traditional AK. These Alpha Series parts from Midwest Industries managed to give me the best of both worlds. I get the modularity of the AR-15 while giving me the looks of not necessarily a traditional looking AK, but a look that doesn't scream I just put a bunch of AR parts on an AK. 
Like I said, these parts look like they belong on the rifle. And it's a damn good look, if you ask me. Guns aren't political. That's why I need your help getting this message to spread on YouTube by clicking the thumbs up button, leaving a comment to let me know what you think of the video, then subscribing to the channel. But most importantly, click that bell symbol. For products featured in this video, click the links in the description.